India, we discussed having lunch yesterday. Now I find out that you've canceled it. What do you mean, I canceled it? Well, don't you think I would know if I canceled my own lunch? Thank you for getting Olivia moved to the hospital. Next time, let me know. Uh, Philip. What? Philip, I, um, uh, I did that for the baby. Okay. Well, then you'll be pleased to know that Ross got the arraignment moved up to today. I got a few things to do, and then I'm going to head back to the hospital. Yeah. You don't seem pleased. I am. I am. It's Alan. He's not himself. <laughs> Thank God for small favors. No, Philip, I'm serious. I, I, I'm worried about him. I mean, this, this whole thing has been far too much for him. Being dropped on that island. Surrounded arm. by the enemy. Stranded escape. like that. Come on, and then they come back and find Olivia is accused of... Listen. All traitors. Even my own son. <laughs> you see what I mean? At the moment, I'm worrying about getting Olivia out on bail. Secret Scarlet 103. Yeah, the stalker scrolled a message in Reva's house, and they did it using a custom-made lipstick called Secret Scarlet 103. Oh, Ross just called. He wants us to meet him at the hospital so we can all go over to the arraignment together. Philip? On Alex? Fair to say that Olivia is either guilty or somebody is setting her up, right? Well, it looks that way. Mm -hmm. Of course, all Ross has to do is, is prove reasonable doubt. He doesn't have to go out and find the real stalker. No, let's see, I do. So that makes me wonder who, who at this time would have a reason to want to ruin Olivia? Alan. No, but Alan loves Olivia. No, Alan is obsessed with Olivia. Maybe losing her has sent him over the edge. Didn't you just say that you were worried about his mental state? Yes, yes, I am, but I'm really, I, I can't believe he's, he's capable of something just diabolical. This, this... He faked a heart attack. But no, I won't believe that. You know, I'd sooner believe that Olivia is guilty as charged that... Of course, we both know that's impossible, don't we? to be at the arraignment, so if you'd prefer to stay here, that would be fine. No, I want to walk into that courtroom and uh, tell anyone who listens to me that I'm innocent. I am innocent. And when, when I reach bail, I'll, I'll figure well, out what I'm If you do make bail. Um, I thought you said I was going to make bail. No, what I said was that things are going awfully well, but your record is less than perfect, and the judge may see you as a flight risk. I'm pregnant. Where am I going to fly? Olivia, what I'm saying is the charges against you are serious, and I want you to be prepared if some things don't go our way. Hey, uh, I took care of your release papers. You're all set to go. Uh, Olivia, is there anything at all I can get you? No. Listen, I have to make a call in the hallway. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Uh, can I uh, talk to you for a minute alone, please? Yeah. Uh, look, I just wanted you to know that whatever happens today, whatever the judge says, I, I can handle it, okay? I'm going to be okay. And, um... Thank you for being there for me. For us. See me! I'm innocent! I'm innocent! 
innocent. Yes, she's I innocent. And just as we expected, the judge has granted bail for my client. Did she release on her own recognizance of conditions? Ah, uh, well, actually, she's to be remanded to the last known address. Last known address? She will be staying with us. Now, excuse us, please. Now, that's all the time we have for questions today. I will issue a statement, and other than that, I'll see you in court. Thanks a lot. You print a statement. Actually, wrong. So tell me, how, how are things real? Well, the district attorney certainly has a case, but it's nothing that we can't handle. So unless there's a smoking gun, I expect her to be exonerated. That's all.